The following video will walk you through the steps taken in order to extract the DNA from a strawberry. Enjoy! Alright, so right now we're going to zero the scale. Then add it to the master and drop it to the homogenized. Okay, so now we're going to put the cheesecloth on top of the beaker and pour the solution we just made into the cheesecloth and hopefully separate all the big chunks. Once we pass the homogenized mixture through the cheese glass, we got a nice clear solution. So now we're going to take 2 milliliters of the solution using a transfer pipette, and we're going to place them into these small test tubes. Our 2 milliliters of solution, we're going to add equal parts of ethanol to it. The ethanol is precipitating the DNA, and that's this white stuff in the middle right here. So I fully separate the DNA. So as you can see, the DNA has separated from the strawberry mixture and is precipitated into the ethanol. We're not we are now going to extract the DNA and we're going to centrifuge it. Whoa, lots of DNA! The DNA was extracted from the test tube and put into a tap door tube so it can be centrifuged. Good. This is a safety precaution taken in order to ensure that accidents don't happen in the lab. Now we can see the super name of ethanol surrounding our nice white color of strawberry DNA. So, we transferred the pellet of the DNA from the Eppendorf tube to a slide for further analysis. So right 
right here we have a dive so nothing in blue. We're gonna add one drop to our DNA system. All right, so right now, Eric is focusing the microscope for analysis of our DNA.